Click skills at a man, you mercenaries. Who you are wondering what to do with your new shiny fifth weapon slot? Well, suddenly there's gold sale, and it sails the Peace Pulser on its first ability. It's a single target attack, and it applies targeted and superior firepower. Pretty nice. The second ability is an all-over area attack, and it applies despair. Great! And game over, which is near fatal. And also it can make ranged actions a quick action for your whole team. Awesome! Let's see how that weapon really fights in combat. Our first opponent is the Super Healer Iron Fist and Nico Minuru, aka the Undiable. <laughs> I could just laugh about that. Because what are we gonna do? Well, at first I took the rectifier for me because we have an electric team and I want to use that uh, energy healing. Then I apply despair to the whole team <laughs> and near fatal, which means the next attack on that target is automatically a fatal blow. So let's check that out. Ooh, near fatal, ooh, near fatal. And <laughs> guess what? Iron Fist isn't a problem anymore. Well, who's that? It's Nurgod, the Breaker of Oceans, and Curve, the Breaker of Man. And I apply just short control burst, which means my next ranged action is a quick action. So now I can use Magnet Man as a quick action. Isn't that awesome? I also have time for some uh, shielding. Yeah, I'm the Calculator Kid. <laughs> also the third action. Uh, from Battle Ray Bill is a quick action, which means more static charge to the enemy. <laughs> and a chain lightning, of course. Oh well, that was a dodge. Oh, that wasn't too lucky, my Battle Ray Bill is six feet under. But the enemy agent as well. So, what's next? Well, we have some counters, some chain lightning, some healing, and oh, that's what I wanted to mention. Seen that? I couldn't use any ranged action at all. Well, that's because of the latest patch notes. And I could tell you, man, that really grinds my gears. Cause I paid a lot of money for that weapon. But how can I explain that to you? Well, if you use the third ability from the Peace Pulser, any ranged action from you and your allies are now a quick action. But as you can see, my agent has now a new debuff called Stalled, which means I can't use any more quick actions in this round. And sadly, all ranged actions are quick actions, so I'm not able to use any ranged actions in this round. So if you buy the Peace Pulser, and you equip it, and you use the third action, like me, as a tactician with snappy service as a quick action, well, you have to wait one round to use ranged actions again. So you want to equip a melee or healing gadget, like I do, the rectifier and the cube. So let's have a look at the second action again. It's an area attack and it applies this pair, which is pretty, pretty, pretty nice, but also near fatal new debuff. But what is this exactly? Well, enemies who have near fatal will be fatal blowed by every other attack from your team if they're below 30% and that's really, really awesome guys. <laughs> but what about the first action? Well, it applies sharp recoil and targeted. Sharp recoil? What's that? Well, it's a debuff and it has the chance to apply Melt Armor, Intimidated and Shell Shocked. And we all know these debuffs are pretty epic. <laughs> so is this weapon really worth $50? I mean, real dollars? Well, the biggest two pros for this weapons are all of area despair, which means every healing is prevented. The second pro is the third ability, which makes ranged actions a quick action. And that's pretty handsome, especially if you have heroes who use ranged actions with you. Also, this weapon has great PvP stats, but there's one con as well. Okay, superior firepower and targeted are really great debuffs, but the first action has a little con and it's sharp recoil, which means 
The damage is higher, but the hit chance is lower. And that means the enemy might dodge your attack. So, in the end, you have to decide yourself. Spend $50 or not? I did it. And I don't regret it. Have a nice day. That was Click Skills. Adamantium Mercenaries.